Chapter 4. Timeline and Sources of History What is history? History is the study of the human past. It is a dialogue between the past and the present, E. H. Carr. We understand the present better by studying the past. How do we learn about the past? Earth has a long history, humans are only a recent part. Different experts help us know about the past. Geologists study Earth's features, soil, mountains, rivers. Paleontologists study fossils of plants, animals, and humans. Anthropologists study human societies and cultures. Archaeologists study remains like tools, pots, beads, bones, houses. Measuring time in history. Different societies used different methods, birth of kings, rulers, religious events. Today the Gregorian calendar is widely used. Years after Christ's birth, A.D., C.E. Years before Christ's birth, B.C., B.C.E. No, year zero, in the Gregorian calendar. Time units in history. Year equals 365 days. Decade equals 10 years. Century equals 100 years. Millennium equals 1,000 years. Example. 1947 CE equals India's independence. 560 BCE equals Buddha's birth. Timelines show sequence of events, e.g., Ice Age, Buddha's birth, Indus Valley Civilization, Jesus' birth, etc. Sources of history. Sources are materials from which we gather knowledge about the past. A. Archaeological sources, excavations, tools, weapons, ornaments, figurines, burials, monuments, coins, pottery, inscriptions, copper plates. B. Literary sources, Indian texts, Vedas, Itihases, poems, plays, scientific and technological texts, historical texts and chronicles, foreign accounts and travelogues. C. Artistic sources, paintings, sculptures, carvings, panels. D. Oral sources, folklore, stories, genealogies, modern sources, newspapers, electronic media, scientific studies, genetics, chemical tests, climate studies. The beginnings of human history. Homo sapiens. Appeared about 300,000 years ago. Early humans. Lived in groups, bands. Hunters and gatherers, depended on nature. Used fire, stone tools, and made ornaments, beads, pendants. Believed in natural elements and possibly in afterlife. Created rock art in caves, paintings of animals, humans. First crops and settlements. After the last ice age, 100,000 to 12,000 years ago, climate became warmer. Humans began farming, cereals and grains, domesticating animals, cattle, goats, living near rivers, fertile soil, water availability. Villages developed, exchange of goods, collective farming, new technologies, pottery, storage and cooking, metals, copper, later iron. Leadership emerged, chieftains guided communities from hamlets, villages, towns, towards civilizations. Key takeaways. Timeline helps in arranging historical events. Different measures of time, years, decades, centuries, millenniums. History is reconstructed from many sources, archaeological, literary, artistic, oral, scientific. Early humans right-pointing arrow hunters and gatherers right-pointing arrow farmers right-pointing arrow settled life right-pointing arrow villages and towns. Progress faced many challenges but led to civilization. Question 1. As a project, write the history of your family or village if you live in one, using sources of history at your disposal. Answer. Example of family history. Sources used. Old photographs, Adar cards, ration card, oral stories from grandparents, family tree chart. Family history. Sample. My great-grandparents were farmers and lived in village name. My grandparents shifted to city, town, for better education and job opportunities. My parents are occupation. Important family memories are preserved through photographs, documents, and oral stories. Similarly, for a village, you can write about its founding, occupations, temples, schools, and changes over time. Question 2. Can we compare historians to detectives? Give reasons for your answers. Answer. Yes, historians can be compared to detectives because both collect clues, evidence, historians use coins, inscriptions, monuments, detectives use fingerprints, CCTV, witnesses. 
both compare different sources and try to find the truth. They must be careful in choosing reliable sources. Both aim to reconstruct a story. Detectives solve a crime. Historians recreate the past. Question 3. A few exercises with dates. A. Place these dates chronologically on the timeline. 1900 BCE, 323 BCE, 100 BCE, 323 CE, 100 CE, 1090 CE, 2024 CE. Correct chronological order. 1900 BCE right pointing arrow 323 BCE right pointing arrow 100 BCE right pointing arrow 100 CE right pointing arrow 323 CE right pointing arrow 1090 CE right pointing arrow 2024 CE. B. If King Chandragupta was born in 320 CE, which century did he belong to? And how many years was that after the Buddha's birth? 320 CE equals 4th century CE. Buddha's birth equals 560 BCE. Calculation equals 560 plus 320 minus 1 equals 879 years after Buddha's birth. C. Rani of Jhansi was born in 1828. Which century did she belong to? How many years was that before India's independence? 1828 equals 19th century CE. Independence equals 1947 CE. Calculation equals 1947 minus 1828 equals 119 years before independence. D. Turn 12,000 years ago into a date. Current year equals 2024 CE. 12,000 years ago equals 2024 to 12,000 equals 9976 BCE, approximately. Question 4. Plan a visit to a nearby museum. Write a brief report afterwards. Answer, sample report, I visited the National Museum, State Museum. Before the visit, I researched the exhibits, ancient coins, pottery, Harappan seals, paintings, and sculptures. Unexpected. Saw real skeletons, stone tools, and manuscripts. Interesting. Harappan pottery and Ashokan inscriptions. Fun part. Exploring different galleries with friends and sketching artifacts. Conclusion. Museums preserve our past and help us connect with history. Question 5. Invite to your school an archaeologist or a historian and ask them to speak on the history of your region and why it's important to know it. Answer. Sample speech idea. An archaeologist, historian explained that our region has a rich cultural heritage with temples, forts, and old markets. They shared how inscriptions, coins, and folklore tell us about rulers, trade, and local traditions. They emphasized the importance of learning history because it helps us understand our roots. It creates respect for cultural heritage. It inspires us to preserve monuments. The session made us realize that local history is a part of national history. Thank you for watching. Chapter 4 Timeline and Sources of History Completed. We covered notes plus question answers. Subscribe to Station Vidya for more chapters and study help. Like, share, and comment your doubts below. Stay tuned for the next chapter.